Hey, future people, it's Phonix, and I am in dire logistical straits here. I just gotta figure out what the, um, what file I'm on. Uh, there's a little bit of a jump from last episode to this one because of, uh, Just because of uh, all the stuff I got. So I'm pretty sure it's at January 15th. Okay. Oh, frick. I'm gonna just check. I'm just going to check the... Um, trunk to see if I still have all those guns. Is this where I left my car? No, I never leave it on Virgin Street. Out of habit, because I didn't want it to get stolen until I precisely controlled the moment it was stolen. Poor Sulik, he can't even fight like this. Here we go, this is where I usually usually leave it. So I'm gonna be doing something a little different than usual. Oh yeah, I have a lot of guns. But I'm just going to pause the recording and check if the ones in I left in Vault City are still there. Okay, I think I might have picked it up. I dropped a bunch of stuff right here off record because I needed to off offload all those guns I got. Or else I would be, like, stuck. I'm just going to try um, waiting a day and buying all the books I can to increase my skills. And hopefully making a little bit of money. Are you stuck? Also, I'm going to check on Sulik. Because he's overloaded. Oh, it's not that bad. Only 40 pounds. It's because I gave him buff out to help him carry all that stuff. Okay. Going to do some waiting. I want to get the Sierra Army Depot done this episode. Okay, if you ever want to see what happens when you bring Marcus into Vault City, this is what happens. They yell, A mutant! Guards! Guards! I don't see the guards coming yet, but I'm guessing something bad will eventually happen. There we go. Anyways, I actually, uh, I checked. I have enough space in my inventory. I can offload Sulik onto uh, Marcus a bit, give him some more weapons too. I'm going to do that uh, off record so I don't um, have hours of inventory sorting going on. Okay, things actually get a little glitchy when you're uh, this overburdened. So I'm going to give him some drugs. What you be needing? I kept trying to trade him, and it's like, that's too much to carry. It's like, but I'm taking stuff off. He should be thanking me for lowering his burden. Actually, that is too much for me to carry. There we go. I've had to use so want? much buff out, but uh, hopefully I can buy some to make up for it. sell some of this junk. He had a hundred pounds of uh, weight remaining. BRB. 
I guess I haven't talked much about these logistical problems yet. But basically, um, my inventory was so full I had to sell some stuff, and I couldn't actually buy anything that wasn't money. So... I ended up having to, you know, take a lesser value, which is fine, because I've got so much. But, uh... I had to drop a bunch of stuff on the ground also, or I couldn't take anything that wasn't money. So I, in order to buy my books... Okay, this guy doesn't have anything special. I think I already did this town. So I'm going to go back to Vault City. This time I'll remember to tell Marcus to not come into the city. And, uh, yeah, I'll just keep you in the loop for the highlights. Okay, offloading some of it. Unfortunately, I couldn't take his money. I had to give him money. But, um, basically I'm trading the high weight items for things that have a decent value and low weight. Mostly ammo. I got this because Marcus will throw them and it'll increase our accuracy at nighttime. Oh, and this too. Anyway, I have to reorganize it now that I changed it, so. Okay. This guy has reset. The other people didn't really reset, it looks like, but... So I'm going to finally get some more books. Oh, my mouse wandered away for a sec. For this one gun. And all this ammo. Bunch of medicine. I See, this is a problem I had before. I got to offload some stuff onto... Luckily, all this stuff goes back to the top, so it'll be easy to put back in. But I've got to offload it onto Marcus or Sulik or something. Okay, I had to give Sulik some stuff, but I've completed the trade. And I even got some money out of it, which I'm gonna... And some grenades. I already traded her money, actually, so I probably don't... She probably doesn't have very much left. How much does this trade for? I'll go to the other person. Anyway, I'm going to keep doing that, waiting a day and then coming back in here. Otherwise, I'm never going to be able to pick up the stuff I want to from uh, the Sierra Army Base, which is where I want to go. Ooh, this guy's got six of these. Okay, that's how much it costs. I'll grow, go grab the assault rifles, rifles off of Sulik. This is such a freaking awkward balancing act. Okay, I came up with a slightly better plan, I think, than just waiting here. I'm going to go to uh, back and forth between here and New Reno, because they also have some really good shops. And if I can get drugs off Renesco, that's obviously, like, pretty ideal. I'm just not going to do that, because I'm trying to uh, not exactly get this over Once with. Again, oh, here we go. Once again, touches you from the void. Chosen. Our crops fail. Our reserves are meager. Return to us with the gag. Your failure is our last light. My failure? I mean, I do know where the gek is because I did it in my other file. Nice, I'm getting some free experience by running from these battles. But I didn't want to rush there. Although, um... There's a companion there I really wanted to get. Uh, where am I? Okay, here's... Armitage... What's his name again? Eldridge! I'm stupid. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's not something special I need to be looking for. Uh, like, he gives you better stock if you're a made man. One of the families. I forgot that's not what I'm getting there. Something special is if you don't get the voice modulator chips from from Vault City. I wish I could level up my thing more, but guns and bullets, I don't even think it'd give me 1%. Yeah, I also forgot I was going to move this bit so my breath isn't going right into the mic. I apologize. It's also 
harder to edit out than the static. Trade the thing that you're also trading to. Don't trade the thing to him that you're also trading from him, or else you're just losing money. Holy crap! That sells for seventeen thousand. Oh yeah, I forgot. I can sneak into his basement and get the and get more ammo for these guns. How much does this sell for? Okay. Well, maybe with the upgrade, I can make up the dis difference. Anyway, I'm gonna. Actually, I don't need to skip it for this part, because I'm doing something kind of unique I haven't done before. Yes, yeah, so I got 49 experience for the... He says... Shut up, you damn dogs, basically. Uh, end combat. I have been down here before on record, but... I haven't talked to my man, Alg Algernon. The swack, swack jawed young man. Come on, it looks like an O. Looks at you with a toothless smile. Stitched on his shirt is a small tag that says Algernon in cursive letters. Boom! <laughs> when he sees your weapons, he starts pointing at him excitedly. Boom! What do you want to give him? I'll give him one of my rifles. Here, take this FN foul. Al takes the item and his eyes light up. He tinkers with it for a few minutes and then a few minutes more and then a few minutes more. An hour later, Al hands it back to you with a nod and an evil smile. Boom! Sh say, can you upgrade this? Oh, I don't have anything to give him. What you be need? Yeah, so that's what he says when you upgrade it, the stuff. I'm gonna just, uh. He can't upgrade most of my weapons, but he can upgrade my fouls. And I want at least one. It has um, a night vision scope. So it'll make up for when you're... Um... Oh, I can't carry that much. Here. I'll still have one in my inventory. It'll just be on Sulek. Instead... Well, not my inventory, but... I'll still have one available. It just be... will be on Sulek instead of on me. So I'll just have to do it. Boom! He looks at you with a toothless smile. Yeah, boom to you, Algernon. Can you upgrade any of these? Here, take my other foul. Thanks, Al. He's like a play on that idiot savant trope. Like, he's stupid, but he's really, really good at, like, what he does. Which, in this case, is upgrade weapons. I have to come here in combat mode or else those dogs will attack me. It's kind of ironic. Like, if you're not in combat mode, you'll get attacked. Hey, dude, are you just yelling at your dogs? Yeah, those damn dogs. There we go. Now, that'll be a bit better value for me. I guess I can pause it now. I right, actually. Well, I guess not the money. I don't have any grenades to give him. Oh, I could give him this freaking ammo that I don't want. There we go. I can do this to make up the difference. Actually, I think all of it will make up the difference because I'm uh, 46, 146 underneath. There we go. Yeah, and he's still going to feel like he's getting a good deal. Yeah, I'm going to go to Renesco. And then I'm going to go back to Vault City. I really hope he has some buff out for me. Yeah, 
It's okay, Rodesco. I'm not gonna bother you with the bore you. Oh yes, he does. F yes. Okay, actually, I need to go get some weapons off my friends. But I'm gonna pause the recording because um, I want this the majority of this video to be in the Sierra Army base. Oh, I didn't actually do it. I don't think I unpaused it or though, so. Okay, this is why it's gonna take forever to get all this off of my weight out of my inventory. Actually, what I'm trading from him weighs almost nothing. I think this is the only something that weighs a little bit. But, like, all of this stuff for one gun. But I'm not gonna wait till it's completely empty, because, um, a few reasons. First one being. Then I won't have anything to sell for later. There's a, one place with better shops than the places I already have. It's called uh, San Francisco. Yes, the one you're thinking of. Apparently it mostly survived. And I actually screwed up my last file. Where I was did the first part of the series before um, most of the videos got deleted. Let's go on him. Be uh, because when one guy, like when you en first enter San Francisco, he'll start walking somewhere, and if you leave before he gets there, his like bug is his uh, script is like broken, and I didn't read about that bug until later when I was like looking up all the shops and stuff. But it's got even better shops than the two places I'm going now. I just, uh... I don't want to go there, because it's... It's kind of, like... Not really skipping ahead, but a little bit skipping ahead. Alright, the rest of this is going to be off record, and then next time you see me... I will be in... Or, not in, but en route to the Sierra Arma be Army Base. Ugh. Can't speak today. Okay, well... I'm not in the Sierra Army base, but I did run into some rad scorpions that I, um... I basically couldn't run from because they surrounded me, but they were ba they were honestly just free experience, so... And yet, yeah, back and forth is enough time for the shops to restock, so this route is perfect. Although, like, I have some things that are a bit too expensive to offload on these guys. I should, uh, try to switch them out. All right, BRB. Okay, I'm finally ready to go to the uh, <clears throat> to the Sierra, Sierra Army Depot, otherwise known as the SAD. I would have done that logistic stuff like completely off record, but um, that like uh, cutscene with your village shaman whose name escapes me. That was uh, important enough. I had to make sure that was in the episode. Okay, that is as high as that's going to go, I think. And the rest I'll worry about later. How much science and repair do I have? 66 and 56. I just have to step foot in this for that one quest. So basically, I just need to... This one I can finally delete because I saved it. The phone is old. But in order to step foot in here, I actually I need to kill... turrets, so I'm going to walk gingerly around until I can get them in my range. There we go. Oh, fuck. It can't hit me. Can 
I wait until daytime? No. I didn't think so. This place is kind of hostile. Do you know what I could do until daytime? What do you want? I can get some light reading done. Why is it so light behind you when it's so dark outside? Damn, the minor oversights. Oops. These big books of science it makes sense to take off them first because they're so heavy. Also, I should switch everybody over to ranged mode. Is that really your best gun? I thought I left you with a really strong energy rifle. Maybe it's because he has no ammo for it. I need, yeah, he needs to have microfusion cells. Wait, isn't that? No, those are small energy cells. What you be needing? Okay, so this guy needs that caseless ammo, Sulik. And he needs small energy cells. Microfusion cells, small energy cells is what he has. Okay, I have a decent amount of case with Sam. Oh, never mind, not a decent amount of frick. Like a lot. I can give him six. He'll probably be set with that much. That's how much he had before, I think. preferred, or the ammo for the weapons I'd rather them have. There we go. Turbo plasma right. I'll just stay here. I'll just stay. No, don't just stay here and tighten the vices on your shoulder. What do you want? You want me back? Michael Dorn. I almost called him William Dorn. What you be needing? Would have had to be fired for that blunder. What do you want? Need one more book. Actually, they only take an hour each. So maybe two or three. Wait, how long did that one take? Oh no, these ones are taking two hours. Okay, well since it's daytime, I'm gonna switch this switch to wait no I screwed that up switch to this oh yeah one more thing I forgot to do I forgot to switch him to there you go okay now to this daytime this should be much easier Yes, yeah, 67%, and I'm farther away. Okay, now that I saw that happen, what do you want? one more thing I have to do. Actually, I was going to the car, but I think he actually has my scoped hunting rifle. Nope, I'm crazy. Okay, saving again, because now I'm finally prepared, I think.
uh, B button to switch. Give myself a bit more space. Nice, first one down. The next one I remember was right here. Uh, there might be some further in. There's a bunker. Yeah, there's one or two in front of the door. There's some shadows here that might be hiding one. Oh yeah, here's one in front of this. Uh... I guess it's also a bunker. It like staircase down to nothing. Otherwise. Or no, not a staircase. A ladder. Very different from a staircase. To get a little closer. Need to get a little closer. -er. Need to get even more close. Okay, the problem wasn't being close. The problem was my aim was blocked. If I stand here, can I get it at an angle? Why, yes, I can. 800 shots of 5mm JHP. Wow. No, I said I wouldn't scape scum it. His aim's not blocked. Nice, okay. I mean, I guess kind of saves coming it by just uh, saving. You can't loot the turrets? That is so sad. Okay, the next turret. Oh, it's in the middle. Good thing I didn't miss it. I missed it in my first sweep, but I didn't miss it in this one. Okay, can I hit it from where I am? Oh yeah, with a decent chance. Five points. Ouch. Not very good. But I'm far enough away, it won't be able to hit me very effectively either. 55. Perfect. Yeah, only for six. Nice work, Marcus. Oh, good. My recording isn't... Is paused. Or is not paused. Can check all these corpses out. Some of them might be, have something. I think they don't have anything. Oh, wait. Their guns are next to their bodies. Yeah, these guys kind of came in underarmed. That one has a, a 10 millimeter pistol. An assault rifle always has a chance. Next obstacle is those ones up there. Uh, I don't see any more guns on the ground. Let me just take a moment to survey. <sighs> there might be one behind here. No, those are just bones. That was my foot. I thought, I'm like, oh, look, there's a little line there. Maybe it's a gun. No, it was my foot. Far enough away? I think so. B. Stop pressing the button to switch. Uh, whatever. I 
I guess that does count. Seven points. Ouch, my pride as a marksman. Oof. There is always a chance of that happening. <laughs> Thanks, Sulik. At least you tried to avenge me. Come a little bit closer. Five, that's even worse than seven. In case you didn't know, seven is greater than five. Oh, nine. Oof. I didn't even get that one good hit. That turret missed horribly, it looks like. Marcus has enough action points for two shots. And that one's, um... Engaged Marcus instead of me. So, I guess I didn't need those health packs. Or not as desperately as I thought I did. Okay, Marcus should be able to kill it if I don't. Marcus will miss both hits like a chump. Damn it. Marcus! Hit at least one hit like a non-chump. Analysis. Target offense. Negligible. Marcus, take more time to aim our shots. The turrets are insulting us. What do you want? I want to heal you, but that's not how you do it. Oh, shoot. That's another thing I could do to pass the time is use my doctor skill. Uh... This one will be a little tougher. Okay, here. How about we go around the bottom... this uh, warehouse, so I'll get like a, a diagonal line of sight from this corner. Oh, damn it, Sulik. Why are you just wandering in there? If I walk down too, it can't even. No, it can't hit. Still hit me. Marcus is close enough that his double burst should. Yeah, kill it. Uh, 
skill decks. Science. This machine has something to do with the route where about service base. It does not look very interesting. Let me science it. My scientific knowledge. Workbench. Oh, a sledgehammer. My trap skills is pathetic. Ouch. I swear there was supposed to be a new submachine gun here. I'm just looking around for it. There's three buildings. I just have to get into this, uh, this front one to do the quest for the West, the Westons. The family that deals with liquor. So I'm just going to pause the recording and take a quick look around. Apply some doctor skill to my allies. Frag grenades are always useful. They're light and they sell. Wish I could zoom in in this game. Wait, wait, wait. There's one more turret? Oh dear. Alright, well I saved after I killed this one, so. Yeah, I mean, I saw that third concrete pad, but I went, oh, there's no turret there, but it was Fog of War. It was uh, trick tricking mine eyes. Once everybody's over, I will kill it. And I'll resume the search for that new SMG. I swear I found it here, but it might have been in a, a little later place. Okay. Oh, I keep pressing the button. I forget. I forgetting to use the hot key. Ow! My chest is full of small projectile weapons. Wait, are they projectile weapons? I guess they're ammunition. I don't think ammunition's counted as. A projectile weapon. Oh darn, I am at my weight capacity. Marcus isn't allowed to die even more than I'm not. Well, I'm al not allowed to die either, because the game just ends. But, like, if Marcus dies, it, it's... It's pretty much just as bad as if I die, because without Marcus, I don't have any... First off, I would have to change how I'm holding my inventory, like, heavily. No, it, it hit me for 69. My character just took it like a champ. They barely even moved. I'll wait for Marcus to get closer so he can kill it right after. It 
reloading is kind of superfluous because it's not going to take all these shots to kill. There we go. If I took the 69 damage, I'd rather take it this turn. Why, Marcus? 253 health. Jesus. I wonder if it would be possible to save scum it like I did those raiders and just hit the head over and over again. Thank goodness. I'm pretty sure that happened last time, too. I got ambushed by a third one that I'm like, oh, there's... They're all clear. What do you want? I want to give you some of my junk so I can pick up more junk. Look, Damien. It's all for you. Never seen The Exorcist, but I've heard that line. I think it was in Family Guy. Which is a very sad place to get your. Kind of sad movies. Some some things used to be so scary, and now like it's so much less so because people are less religious, they're more desensitized. Yay, lock picking kit. That was a sarcastic game. There's no reason to be excited about a lock picking kit. I took out all of the turrets, so now I just need to find a way into the base for the quest. Please let that be all of the turrets. If another one just pops out at me, I'm going to be kind of like, oh gosh. Not this again. How was I supposed to get in? There's two... Kind of other entrances. Ow. What's traps for? Just save, make sure the trap doesn't kill me. Oh no, if only I had electronic if only I had electronic lockpicks, which I don't think I'm carrying with me, but I had them. Try these stairs. Nothing can lock stairs, right? Hopefully that counts as finding a way into the Sierra Army base. Oh, 
Oh, okay, that makes sense. So I'm gonna have to find uh, another switch or something to get it back to 100%. It also makes sense that this is just a power station. Like, if you've ever seen a power station in real life, there's, they are surrounded by these coil things. I remember when I was a kid, I, there was one that uh, my family drove by all the time. And I thought it was, like, a really cool thing. How it was, like, a just a fenced-off area full of weird-looking machines. Does it say what it is? Are they, like, capacitors or something? Oh, generators. Okay. I'll try the door. I don't think there's any other ways in. Because this one is like a building, but it's off the map if there's supposed to be a door. It's not here. I'll check one more time in here. Now that I have 50% power. Yeah, just use a desk. The hand icon made me think maybe I could... Like, it was a container. Okay, I'm just gonna grab the electronic lockpicks. Okay, I have returned with the lockpicks. I de... I'm an idiot. I definitely locked the door. Wait a second. There we go. How it's your sh and a rocket launcher. Luckily, I had just enough health to not get killed by that trap. Oh, the door is still locked. What do you want? <sighs> yeah, carry some stuff for me. Huh, I wish I could just go back to the videos that got deleted. Or, I might be able to recover them one day. But I wish I could go back to those videos and just see... <clears throat> ...if I got the uh, gun I'm thinking of here. Because I swear I did. I swear it. Why do I have two sniper rifles? That's weird. I think that rocket launcher is just really heavy. Not that I'm uh, almost empty. Another 20 pounds should do it. I would use rocket launchers, but the ammo is ridiculously heavy and expensive and rare. Maybe just don't take the howitzer shell. It expires. Or, I don't know.
Okay, um, before I die, I'm just gonna doctor myself. Okay, the only thing I can think of is it has something to do with that howitzer show. Like, have you heard of the concept of Chekhov's gun? Like, in a story situation, if a gun is placed somewhere, it's gonna have to come up later. It's not... 100%. I sh oh, I should have looked at what it was before I did that. But I'm still in the threshold where... Um, I can always also check the recording, because when I press the S button... I'm still in the threshold where I get stuff. But I think I might only be getting one... What is it? Five? I'm still at the point... I think I'm at the point where I'm only getting one per book. But it's still free skill points. Like, free, not three. Sometimes I slightly mispronounce words. Please let me have enough for the howitzer shell. Yes. And there's also one howitzer that's aimed in a weird way. Like, the rest are here behind a fence that I can't get to. There we go, I found a way in. It's this hole here where the door used to be. Sweet. Now that I found a way in, I can uh, come back later, I think. I'm gonna just... Uh... Look around this first room. Evacuation disc, huh? I swear, if you guys walk into that fence and die, I'm going to be mad. Password paper. All right. In the other fallouts, I hate getting passwords because there's no option to not use them and just hack it the normal way. So I guess there's no way to get in. Or this isn't like the other game. Or other Fallout. As in one. Where when the power is at 50%, the doors are only on half the time, so they flicker on and off. What does that password paper say? Well, it weighs one pound. Oh, here we go. It said in, in the bottom. Gygovsky. Okay. Tchaikovsky. I, I think it was what I'd be like. T C H. Kind of sounds like. Yes, this place is a little creepy. Very disappointed I didn't find that gun, though. But I think now I'm finally ready to go down to NCR. Where everyone's going to have to put their weapons away. And I'll come back here later. Okay, thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed making it. It was, it was a little long to make because I had to do all that inventory management, but now we've got some freedom. Also, NCR has good shops, so I'll be able to offload some more stuff. Okay, remember you're in control of your own life. I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye for now, and see you in the future.